Welcome to Excel Works video tutorials. The title of this presentation is how to integrate a graph in Excel or Google Sheets with the function quad xy. Typically you have some empirical data points and you would like to compute the integral of the graph passing through this data points which is equivalent to the area under the graph. We will show you in this tutorial how to easily do this by the aid of the function quad xy in both Microsoft and Google Sheets. Let's begin by introducing the function quad xy. Quad xy requires two parameters, a vector of the x-coordinates and a corresponding vector of the y-values. It also takes optional parameters, controls in parameter number 3 to control the algorithm, limits in parameter number 4 if you have different limits for your integral than your endpoints, and weights in parameter number 5 if you would like to weigh your data points. Quad XY is based on cubic splines. Unfortunately, Quad XY is not a standard function in Excel or Google Sheets. To enable Quad XY in your Excel or Google Sheets, you will have to install the Excelab Calculus functions add-in. If you're running Excel on a Windows PC, Download Excel Lab 7 from excel-works.com. If you're running Excel on an Apple Mac, install it directly from the Microsoft App Source. You can cl simply click on Insert from your ribbon, then select Get Add-ins, find the Calculus add-in, and click Add. On Google Sheets, you can install it directly from the Google Marketplace. Search for it and install it there. We will demonstrate the use of quad xy with a simple example. We have the function shown here. We know the exact integral value for that function in the shown limits 1 and 2. We will integrate it with the aid of quad xy and then compare the result to the analytical value. I've started my Excel. I'm showing the function for reference and I'll start by defining my x points starting from 1 at an increment of 0.05 and going all the way to 2. Next I'll generate my y values from the function. First I'll define a formula for the function. I'll complete the rest of the values using the autofill. Now to compute the integral between 1 and 2, I'll simply invoke the quad x function. First argument is my x values. And my second argument is the corresponding y values. Quad x computes the answer. Let's compare this value to the analytical value given by 9 minus logarithmic 2. And we take the difference here. So we're accurate up to 10 to the minus 7. The integral is computed by the aid of cubic splines. I'll show you how we can switch to using linear splines, which would be equivalent to using a trapezoidal rule by making use of optional parameter number 3 and the control key order. Now I'm going to use constant array syntax for convenience. My key is order and my value is 1. You can see now we are calculating a slightly less accurate value. In fact, we can see how much different it is.
so we're only accurate up to three decimal places whereas when we use cubic splines we're accurate up to seven decimal places next i would like to describe some of the advanced features in quad xy which has to do with dealing with real life experimental data typically your experimental data will be unsorted it may contain duplicate measurements multiple va y values for a single point it might be statically biased where some measurements are more significant than others or more accurate or your data might be sampled from a periodic pool where you know something about your boundary conditions and you would like to improve the accuracy the first two items here are handled automatically by quad xy it will sort them for you and it will average the duplicate data let's see what we can do ab about weighing our data or providing some sort of a smoothing factor or, or controlling the boundary conditions so one thing you could do is if your data is biased or you know something about the accuracy relative accuracy of your data points you can supply a weight vector in argument number five in the table on the left i have an example here where i have assigned weights of one to the data i feel are more accurate than the others and smaller values for the data at the boundary to use this feature make sure that the weights are strictly positive the largest integration errors will occur near or at the endpoints of your set usually they are more pronounced when you're calculating derivatives and less when you're doing integration but if you would like to improve the accuracy of the integration you can do the following one thing is if you know the slopes at the endpoints you can supply them using the keys i slope and e slope exactly as i show in this formula here uh, you would estimate the i value and e value and put these numbers in there the other thing is if you know that your data points come from a, from a periodic wave-like data then you can set the periodic key in optional parameter 3 to true as I also show here and that will take care of your boundary conditions another thing is if your data is polluted or has some white noise and you would like to filter the noise out you can smooth the data before carrying the integration and you do that by the aid of the S factor control key again in parameter number three the value you supply for the s factor could be anything between zero and a large value a zero implies no smoothing which is the default but if you supply a large value like for example 100 it will compute the integral based on a least square smoothing curve fit for the data so your curve fit will not go through the points necessarily but it will be the least square best fit between the data in this presentation we describe the integration function quad xy which is part of the xlab calculus functions add-in which contains a dozen other functions for various calculus problems including integration differentiation interpolation solving equations and differential equations if you are interested in any of these problems check excel-works.com for additional examples thank you